Today we'll make a rustic Christmas stocking. Keep watching. These are a bunch of items that we might be using. So you can use any type of ornaments from the Dollar Tree or from Walmart. They have some little minis here. Gonna use possibly this coaster. It's just an idea of a sign. These came from Dollar Tree in the floral section, I believe. We have an assortment of ribbons that we could use. These are wired ribbons. They came from Dollar General and Dollar Tree. And then here is my thrifted stocking, which came from Hobby Lobby. It originally came from Hobby Lobby, but I got it at Goodwill. This is an old pillow that I've used for stuffing on a couple of projects, and I'm going to use it for this. Take the tag off of your stocking. If it is new, if it is not, then you are good to go. This stocking has fur trim and it is so cute. I'm just going to fluff it up a little bit. Then we got to stuff this stocking. So we're going to take the inside of the pillow, tear it apart, pull it apart, kind of fluff it up a little bit. And then we're going to begin fluffing up this stocking because we want it to look full. Nobody wants an empty, empty stocking at Christmas, right? So we're going to fluff it up. You can use, if you have paper towels, you could use that. You could use Walmart or Dollar Tree bags. You could use an old newspaper. Just crumple it up and stuff it down in the stocking. Be sure that you get the toe and then work your way up the leg of the stocking. And once I get it all fluffed up, I want to make sure that it's kind of even and there's no, no lumpiness. So I'm just kind of patting it down and getting it straight. This is a foam block that I'm just going to stuff in the top to make sure that it fits because we're going to do an arrangement with this. This is a little truck with a Christmas tree in it. This is an ornament pack that came from Dollar Tree. And then these are some acrylic markers that I got off of Amazon. I'll try to get that link for you and put that in the description box. You can color your truck whatever color you like. Uh, like a dark green would be really pretty. I've seen black trucks. You could use a blue. Heck, you could use white or pink or whatever color matches your stocking. But it's Christmas and I want to use the red on this truck. I'm just going to fill this in. Of course, if you don't have acrylic markers, you can use chalk paint and a brush. You know, kind of a small brush that's easy to control. Or you could use acrylic paints on here. If you wanted to do that, you could. You could probably do watercolors too, but you wouldn't have the coverage that you get with a paint, a paint marker. I got two packs. They came as one set. It's the bullet tip, which I'm using now for these bigger areas. And then there are some fine tip uh, markers as well. When you get these, you have to shake them up and then press them down until the paint comes down into the tip of the marker. But then you're good to go. Every now and then they'll get a little bit streaky and all you gotta do is just Press them down or draw on the paper, which you saw me do on the side there. And it'll get the flow going again. But I'm happy with them. They didn't cost a lot of money. So that's always a good thing because you know I'm, I'm frugal. I'm also going to use the black here to line out the bed of the truck, that rail there. But you could use a dark brown if you wanted. That would be good. I think that would work. Okay, then I'm going to take the green and I'm going to start coloring in that tree. We're going to give it some shading or we're going to give it some snow in just a moment. And it's really going to make a difference in this little ornament. 
It's going to kind of bring it to life. I decided to leave this part in because I know a lot of people like to see painting and, and drawing. They like to watch. So, okay, here we go. You're going to take your white and just go over it with little dots and little streaks on the high points where you would normally have snow collect. If you live in the south, you may have no no clue whatsoever, but I think the high areas are where you're going to see this. I'm using my white fine tip marker for this. Okay, so my tree is going to dry and I'm going to take this floral pick. It's one that I had removed the um, floral pieces from already. And I started off using one of those little twine or whatever balls, but I do take those off. So you won't see me use those again. But these are some white ornaments that came out of the multi-packs of ornaments from the Dollar Tree last year. And they do have them this year. They look like little snowballs, so I thought they would be good in this, in this rustic arrangement. Just going to take a few. And my block is used to just hold those in place until my glue dries. Then you can take them up and put them aside because they'll be cut off in a moment. I took a snowy floral pick and I believe this is one that I got on clearance last year at either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It's just a pine pick. And where I live, we do have pine trees. Now I live in southern Alabama, so obviously we don't have the snow, but would you believe it? A couple of years ago, we had snow two years in a row. I was so shocked. It was a fluke, I know, but you know, it was a blessing to us because it was nice to see it. It's rare for my kids to get to play in snow. So it was really great. So I've cut these off of the pick and I'm just using those to stick here and there in my floral foam. And now I've got to have some way to stick my ornament in there. So I'm just taking another stem that I had left and some hot glue, gluing that down on the back side of that truck and letting it sit up while I continue to work on my full arrangement. Um, I think these were some picks that I got on clearance last year from Hobby Lobby. They are completely flocked and I, I really like these pieces. I didn't get very many of them though. So I'm going to use them kind of sparingly. Now I know that the smallest part of this is going to be the, the block there that's going to go on the inside of the arrangement. So I want my arrangement to sort of fan out. So that's why you see me going kind of wide and short on the sides. Now I'm going to show you how to take a pine cone and wire it. You just cut a length of floral wire on a bottom section that has a gap in it and you just wrap it around there. That's all you got to do and then twist it closed. I'm going to borrow another pick from another floral pick and then I'm just going to wrap that wire around the pick and now I have something sturdy to stick this down into that, that block. If it's still a little bit too loose for your liking, put a dot of hot glue on there and it'll stay where you want it to stay. So I'm going to cut this pick a little bit shorter and put it a little more towards the front and a little bit lower down. I have almost a triangle formation with that and also with those little snowballs. And now these beautiful picks, I definitely should have got more of because I cannot find them now. These are like, I think they're willow picks and they came from the Dollar Tree. These things really give a very nice woodland look to your projects. They are really nice. Be sure that you're also decorating some on the back side. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to have a little something back there to fill it out. And feel free to bend some of your picks. Do you see how this is almost like it's fanned out on the top? And then there is my little tree. 
Gonna put him in there and see how I like him placed. Do I want to put him behind the sticks or in front of them? And I think it looks better kind of taking center stage there. So I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna place it back down on the inside. Now I will tell you once I get it put back up, I take right there above the rim, I take some of that fake snow cloth and I put it down in there to cover it up and, and make it look like it's sitting in the snow. I just don't have footage of that. Go back through, add pics, add florals, whatever you want in there to just fill it out and give it the look that you like. And I really love this. This is pretty. This is a really simple arrangement. This would make a beautiful gift. It's a beautiful piece of decor. And I just, I love it. It was simple. It didn't take me long to make. And I hope that you do this. Dollar Tree's got some great stockings right now. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you again soon. Bye.